No more Hold wasting on. time. Welcome Let's back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad. So this is the way drivers treat their equipment when they decide to leave the company. This young man right here, owner-operator, just wanted to give somebody a chance. And look at how they treat him. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. You know what's fucking sad these days, guys? You give someone a nice, brand new 2023 RGN, headache rack, all the fucking gear they need. Nice ass truck. 2018 truck. And treat them good. Pay them good. Even when they're broke down, you pay them 2000 a week to sit and watch fucking Netflix. This is the bullshit you get when you get it back. Truck was completely fucking detailed. Cigarettes, fucking dip cans, fucking trash everywhere. Broke the fucking bed. Fucking paperwork every fucking where. Smells like smoke caught assholes and elbows in here. Completely filthy. Pieces everywhere, bullshit everywhere. Like, what the fuck, man? This was a nice truck. Now I have to pay fucking 300 bucks to get it detailed. 400, 500, who knows what the fuck it's gonna be. And this is the bullshit you get back. Broke all kind of bullshit. Excuse me. Bungee cords fucking stuck everywhere. Didn't even bother to wash it. Look at how fucking filthy that is. And we pay for the damn wash. And we pay for the damn washes. My faith in CDL drivers and humanity is gone, guys. And this is a guy that I actually trusted. And this is the condition in which he brought it back. So, no matter how good you are to people, don't matter. You can't pay them enough. Doesn't matter if it's fifteen hundred, two thousand, three thousand. It's never enough money. You know what I mean? Human beings just don't give a fuck. Selfish motherfuckers. Sad part is I actually thought we were friends with this guy. I brought him to my house, invited him to dinner, bought him several dinners. You know, and this is the fucking way I get treated. All I know is that the guy's super lucky that he has a family, and I'm a nice guy. Otherwise, I'd blast him all over the internet, TikTok. Facebook, YouTube, you name it, that not to hire this guy. So, yeah, it's just speechless, speechless. You know, you do good for people, and uh, this is the reward you get. Drivers, man, this this is the this is the situation that owner operators go through on a daily basis. Finding good drivers. This guy right here, this owner operator gave this guy brand. It, it might not have been a brand new truck, but it was a new truck to him to run the loads and do what needs to be done. Now, I, he didn't go into the situation of why the driver quit or maybe the driver got fired or whatever the situation but he went into what was done to the truck. And this is what most irate, degenerate, anything that you can mention, disgruntled drivers do when they bring the equipment back. They bring the equipment back all dis disruptive and everything. Like they really didn't care. And this isn't the first and it's definitely not going to be the last, but I am glad that this gentleman came on to actually say, yo, this is what we go through. No matter how much we offer, no matter how much we pay, it is still not enough. Now, I don't understand it. I, I don't understand it. I mean, if you find an owner operator or a small owner operator size company, and that company treats you, you know, treats you well, give, you know, make sure you get paid, make sure you get enough, and all like that. Why? What happened? What what happened to the love? Now, I have admi I, I admit, like, some companies, you know, like my company, for example, my company is strict. It's it's like high school. It's it's strict over here. I mean, the owner of this company is only looking for good drivers, professional drivers. 
Not no fly by night drivers, not no drivers that's going to come in and then get mad and then bounce out. He's not looking for that. He's looking for a driver to help build the company. And I get that. And he pays well while he's doing it. But still, just like this gentleman says, it's not enough. It's not enough that he pays him $1,500. Not enough that he pays him $2,000. Not enough that he pays him $3,000 because that irate driver is going to always want more or going to always see a problem. Owner operators, man, let me know in the comments below. Have you came across drivers like this? And if so, would you... Would you have blasted this driver over the internet? I don't know. I, I, I think he should, you know, give owner operators a heads up on the type of driver this dude was. Maybe he's not going to do it to other drivers, companies, I guess. I don't know. But still, he, he, they're out there. It's funny, though, before I get off. It's funny that these guys will be cool with mega carriers that's not paying them what they're worth. But go and do some stuff like this to the owner operator that would. Let me know about your let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to let me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real way, yes. Yeah, Want you to take it like a G, you don't make a sound And I want you to miss me when I'm